What's up everybody? This is Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping. You use your gear, lose your gear. Because if you're not using it, you might as well lose it. So today I just want to come on here and do another quick pocket dump kind of a knife review. Go over. These are knives that I reviewed in the past. So I'm really not going to go all that much into detail about them. But I am carrying just random knives this week. So um, I just want to come on here and let you know what's going on, what I'm carrying and stuff like that so yesterday i did not do a video um so i'm gonna i also have the knife that i carried yesterday and the one that i carried today so before i do that this hank is a hank by black tag hanks they're on ebay uh, american made small owned american business uh check them out it's pretty good um just go to eBay, type in Black Tag Hanks, it'll come up. He doesn't have a whole bunch of stuff, but he does have some pretty cool stuff. So definitely check him out. I think his name is Bone Shaker. So you can type that into uh, into the stores or something and uh, it should come up. But that is Black Tag Hanks, cool Hanks. So the knife that I had yesterday is this knife. This is the Boker Cataclyst. Now, overall, it's a pretty decent knife. Not gonna go into the specs. Like I said, I did a video on this in the past. If you wanna go check it out, all the specs are on there. Um, this is model number 0427, the Boker Cataclyst. It is a frame lock. It is stonewashed and it has a stonewashed 440C blade. It is a slight clip point. It does have a crown spine and some jimping and it fits in your hand pretty nice. It is ball bearings, closes, it will shut on you and cut you. It does have a good plunge line and a really good sharpening choil. Um, it also has a backspacer and a lanyard hole area. Tip up right hand to carry only. So. This knife is good. I used it for a bunch of stuff yesterday. The only thing is that I can say about it that I don't like is right, because it's right-handed carry, right? So it goes in your, right, in your right pocket, and all of this, like right here and right there, is sharp. Like seriously, like super, super sharp. So put your hand in there to grab it, it'll cut you. Like not cut you, but scrape you, you know what I mean? So that, I could hit with a file or something, but it's like literally not that serious. I'm just like, whatever, dude. I don't really carry it a lot, um, but it is pretty sharp. So just to let everybody know so they can keep that in mind if you do get this. It is a liner lock as well. Um, and I mean, overall it's a decent, you know, good gentlemanly carry, I suppose. Uh, it has this fuller cut back on weight and stuff like that. So um, overall it's a decent knife. It's just that I was like, wow, this thing is, crazy sharp right here <laughs> like you know what i mean it got me because i had a wallet in my pocket so this is kind of one of those knives if you carry it in your front pocket you're not carrying nothing else in there um because it's going to push it over a little bit and then this is going to get you so just keep that in mind if you pick this knife up it is not very expensive it's like 45 bucks it's serious it's it's pretty good i mean i like it it's just i just noticed that it is sharp and you know scrapey so that is a boker cataclyst i had this yesterday solid knife uh today even more solid Ontario Rat 2. I also did a video on this and one of the uh, best budget knife carries uh, ever. And I believe that this Rat series, Ontario Rat 2 and 1, are probably the best budget knives that you can buy for anybody or yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, did a video on the Rat. I'm sure everybody knows the specs on the Rat 2. It's been out since NOM. Like, it's been around for a really long time. So, it's an awesome, awesome blade. Even though it's smaller, it's got pretty good ergos. So, it fits in my hand really well. I get a good, uh, I do get four fingers on it, actually. So, it's awesome. And it's, you know, the copper washers, and it, and it still closes really easy. And it flies open super fast. So, that is a knife that I have today. Um, no uh, kind of more needed for the rat you know series it is like four-way pocket clip tip up tip down right left i have it oriented to uh tip up right hand to carry it's got barrel spacers liner lock thumb studs jimping drop point copper washers uh this is some kind of a nylon it's um i forget what they call it but it's like an frn or a grn they have a different name for it but it's it's nylon whatever but solid knife really neutral construction on the handle so anybody can use this knife and it's going to fit in your hand good can't even say how many how, say enough good things about the rat series these especially the two um because i like carrying you know medium sized uh knife this is very um very minimal um in concept and in design so super awesome knife check it out mine's an aus 8a um simply because i can sharpen 
So I usually tend to get myself steels that are easy to sharpen. So when they do go dull, I can sharpen them again. You get yourself like an M390 or something like that, or, you know, Super Megatron Steel 1000, because the knife Karen's got to have that. And uh, it goes dull and you got to send it out like an idiot because you can't sharpen it. I'd rather be able to sharpen what I got. So I got a US 8A. It's good stuff. Japanese steel. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know what you're getting when you get it. So that is a knife that I have on, on me today. And then I got like a random coin, a uh, copper coin from um i got online so that's pretty pretty cool still carrying the kodiak cub awesome little flashlight gets a lot of use my dog was chewing on something and i use it to see what the hell she had in her mouth um but it works really good carrying as a backup uh actually as a primary pen today is the uh f301 compact so you know you take it apart put it together turn it into a full-size pen pretty cool like it a lot um also carrying the skull candy dime and then i switched wallets i was carrying the uh robrazum minimalist front pocket carry and i switched because it, i had to oil it again and like i you're only you only should have to oil it like once a month it shouldn't dry out like that and that leather dried out and it keeps drying out and i find that with the cheaper wallets that you buy um, you know, whether it's Crazy Horse or Napa Leather or whatever, they never use veg tan. So um, the leather tends to dry out a lot. And I mean, you keep oiling it, but eventually you would think that you wouldn't have to. So I basically oiled it and put it in a little plastic bag and set it aside. And I had already purchased another wallet, which I got right here. It is the Travel Lambo Minimalist Front Pocket Carry Wallet. And I don't really like this. You put your license in there. I mean, it works. It comes in and out, but whatever. It is what it is. But I was interested in it because it has this pocket for money. So that's pretty cool. You can put that money in there. And I did get uh, 520s in there until I had to buy gas. <laughs> and now I only got 120 left because it took 60 bucks. But whatever. So there's a pocket here, a pocket here for the, um, in the middle for money, a pocket here for another card, and then three spaces there. And your ID, license, whatever goes in there. It's like nine bucks. I saw it online, figured I'd try it out because I'd had some R8 reviews. And I mean, I've only carried it for a day. It is kind of big though. Like it's a little bit bigger than the other one and it's a different setup than the normal, uh, you know, front pocket carry wallet. My uh, St. Laurent wallet and my Robrazum wallet have a similar carry. This is totally different. So it's something to get used to. I figured I'd, you know, carry for a couple weeks, see what I think, blah, blah, blah. You know, I do know that if you put your license in here too far, it won't come out. And it was a pain in the ass for me to get it out. You got to kind of just put it in far enough so you can slide it because I almost took a knife out and cut it open because I couldn't get my license out like seriously like, and then after that I was like oh if I only put it in a little bit it works good it also is supposed to be RFID so I don't know whatever if you want to take the $12.75 out of my debit account you can have it but I don't know if that even works so again there's three one two three pockets there for and then one two three so it's pretty cool it says you can hold like 10 or 12 cards I mean I don't have that many but I got that, so that's what I'm gonna be carrying. The um, Travel Lambo, and you gotta say it like that too, Travel Lambo. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, then I got my, uh, you know, my uh, pouch that I carry in my uh, pocket. This week I'm carrying this pouch all week. It is the Long Hunter Supply, just a small pouch. It's got the uh, hook and loop on the front for whatever patches you wanna put on there. And I did a video on this as well, and there is a load of stuff in there, and I can probably still get more stuff. I think I got, all the stuff I have in here, I actually put some Benadryl in here because my wife has um, some kind of reaction to some things. And I still have like all this room. So this thing can hold like a ton of stuff. It's amazing actually. Due to the size of it, you wouldn't think you'd get that much in there, but super cool. Wax canvas, natural, looks really cool. Like it, brass zipper, it's awesome. That's the uh, Long Hunter Supply uh, small pouch. And then this is just a PVC patch that I had got from Braun and Ginger before they went out. Um, so I got that, and I also am carrying the Zero Feud uh, cup, the small one, and I made a little, you know, a few changes to it. I have some band-aids here, but I also put some uh, some wet wipes in here in case you need wet wipes, to, like clean out a cut or something. I don't want to use alcohol pads, so I switched to wet wipes. And then I, uh, what else did I do? Also put some Benadryl in here as well. Um, so I got some medication back here still, and then I threw some tweezers in there. So. Um, that's what I got in this and I got some more I put another band-aid in there I put some first aid cream in there so it's like I said a work in progress so I have some naproxen in there I have some Benadryl in there scissors tweezers a knife 
Uh, I got some burn cream, some triple antibiotic ointment, some band-aids, more band-aids, wet wipes, and yeah, so that's what I got in here. This was pretty awesome, so this is definitely a good pouch when they come back out. They are sold out right now, but hopefully they come back soon. It is a Zero Feud C-U-P, uh, compact utility pouch. So that's what I got on me today. Those are the items. This is a knife I had yesterday. This is the Boker Cataclyst, and this is what I have on me today. If I can get it to, <laughs> to work, the Ontario Rat too. Awesome knife. So you guys have a good Monday and a great week.